Hi, my name is Adam. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is walk through neighborhoods, through the woods, through parks, and on mountains. I like to walk. So join me, and together we'll take a step to see the world. Welcome again, everyone, to another in the line of abandoned walks. We have previously checked out one of my favorite movie theaters. Today I am in uh, the city of Beaverton, the Tannisbourne area. Well, I guess on this side of the street it's called Hillsboro. On the other side of the street it's Beaverton. But I am going to another abandoned theater. It's actually a really... It's been there for a long time. This is the Tannisborn Theater. The new Tannisborn Theater. The previous Tannisborn Theater was across the street. On the Beaverton side. <laughs> so we are almost a year into the pandemic now. Uh, movie theaters have been shut down for almost the entire year. And at this point, I don't see a lot of them reopening. Uh, I really don't. Not with the same staff, anyway. <laughs> anyway, I used to live around here. And back when I did live here, I didn't have a car to get around, so I'd walk home from work every night. Or walk my uh, wife home from work every night, back then, my ex-wife. And we would pass by this place on the back side of it. This is the front side. And uh, there was lots of frogs, you know, croaking and uh, owls hooting. And the fountains in the back, I don't know if they're active right now. But the fountains in the back were always really pretty with the lighting. And with the uh, sound that the animals were making. It was, it was a walk home in the dark, but you know, it, it could be an enchanting one. So here is the Tannisborn Theater. Uh, this was the first theater that I experienced the uh, mainstay where you have to choose a seat when you're buying a ticket, which I felt was complete bullshit and I never came back here after that, but then the theater that I liked also started doing that shortly after. Um, this also has the RPX experience for the theater where you could recline your seat and, I don't know, maybe it was a deluxe size cup holder, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not actually entirely sure what the RPX experience is all about because I never experienced it. Yeah, it's the Regal Premium Experience. So the box office, as far as I know, has been closed for a while. I'm not going to test the doors like I did the other theater because I'm pretty sure that set off an alarm. <laughs> and the uh, police officer responded very quickly. I don't see anything turned on 
when I was look, checking out the last theater, I think there was some stuff still turned on. But this place, none of the arcades are on. I don't see any marquees on over here. I think this place is just entirely shut down, and as well as it should be. It's been closed for almost an entire year. Now the parking lot for this particular theater is, I'm gonna guess it's either the same or even larger than the last theater. Hey, I wonder where those stairs go to. Well, I know they go to a theater, but that's weird. There's some seldomly noticed stairway. Huh. I can imagine somebody would rest there overnight if they were one of the homeless people in the area. The homeless uh, situation in Oregon is, or at least the Portland area, is a little, I'm not going to say a little, it's out of control. And the pandemic has only made it worse. But yeah, the, the parking lot here is huge. I mean, look how fast that is. I mean, it extends way out there. And believe it or not, there are times when this, this uh, parking lot almost seems full. The, the, the theater has that many screens to it. And if they're playing a uh, first run in-demand movie on a bunch of them, this parking lot can get very full. Very full. So yeah, this is the Evergreen Theater. That's interesting. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna settle back down here, turn over here. Well, that's a nice exit, actually. That exit looks nice enough. It could almost be an entrance. But it's not. Side exit. But I'm walking around the building because unlike a lot of other places I've tried filming at, this is actually a building I can get all the way around. Which is nice. Uh, the fountains that I was talking about, where'd they go? I guess they're a bit further down this way. And even in the evening, they're lit up. Um, and the water isn't, you know, going. If the fountains are turned on. So at the moment, the pandemic is worse than it's ever been <laughs> in the United States. Um, but as you can see by the traffic, people just don't care anymore. And it's kind of tragic. It's not helpful. Today is also Super Bowl Sunday, so it's super busy out. Lots of people foolishly having parties. Yeah, here's a marsh area. Really? Huh. Let's take a look in there. I see some stone bases where fountains used to be. Um, right where my middle finger is here. You can see a stone base there. And there were a few. I'm seeing the one. Down here, I'm seeing a little pond. And a drainage ah, shaft. Yeah, that used to be one. 
But they're not turned on right now, huh? And there's another one over here. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, this was uh, home to happy little froggies and possibly some other stuff. I don't know. We left the trash out here. I'm not sure where it came from. Um, as of this moment of filming, the restaurants in the area are still no seating inside. Everything is to go. Uh, in the Portland, Oregon area. Or probably all of Oregon area. <laughs> I don't know. Right here is uh, an example of just how far out this parking lot extends. If you see a car parked up there. But it's a pretty expensive parking lot with that building in the distance. Now over the years that this place has been here, I've known several, probably dozen people who've worked here. Um, good people. Well, when I was in my 30s, I, uh, no, not my 30s. Was it my 30s? I have been in my 30s. I tried to get a job here. And one of the things that they asked for when I put in my application was a recommendation from my high school coach. <laughs> like, I would have any contact with any of those people. <laughs> or they would remember me at all. Um, so, consequently, I did not continue... You know, trying to get that job. Maybe I looked young. I don't know. I don't think I look too young. But it's hard to be your own judge. These people across the street here are pushing a shopping cart. That's cool. That is one of the things I used to do. If I see a stranded shopping cart way far away from where it's supposed to be, I used to, you know, push them back to where they were supposed to be also. And when my parent, when this place first opened, and for years afterwards, I should say, um, my parents would always park in the back somewhere along here. They never even tried to park in the front. It was always in the back. And with most of the theaters having an exit off to the side or the back, sometimes that wasn't too bad. You just go right out to your car. Here's another car parked here. Now, I've visited this lot several times in the uh, thought of filming the abandoned place. But a lot of the times I've been here, there have been people in trucks living out of their trucks in the parking lot, and I didn't want to disturb them. You know, everyone has a right to their own privacy. side exit or back exit to a theater. Yeah, none of these lights are even turned on. Not one. And a staircase that does not go up to a top floor unlike the last theater I was at. And another exit that looks almost nice enough 
to be an entrance of its own. garbage crusher and an entrance for the garbage crusher and look at this a transformer yeah trash compactor but here is the, yeah this is this is it that's the whole thing. Yep. And I'm going to also point out again that the grass is still pretty much tended. This place may have been closed for a long time, but the plants are green. They're not dead. The grass is pretty much cut. Um, it's, it's getting a little few inches now just because it's the rainy season, but the place is still being taken care of. Um, yeah, the trees looked, uh, look well pruned. Um, yeah, it's in good shape, good condition. It's just been closed for almost an entire year which is very sad. I explained in my last abandoned theater movie that uh, my parents practically live at the theater. And this is one of the ones they go to. But I don't know if even they, almost living at the theater, have ever experienced the RPX experience. <laughs> Yeah, these little stairways, all very well done, very nice. Mm -hmm. I got all these. This really would be a good place to hide away from the wind for the homeless people in the area. I mean, you know, one at a time. <laughs> Theater in Hillsboro, Oregon. Closed for almost an entire year at this point. It says temporary closed. See you soon. But it's been that marquee's been up since before summer. Um of 2020 and right now it's February of 2021 I just I don't know I don't see this place reopening honestly I don't see it reopening as a uh, regal I don't know but that's it that is it it's time to go back to my vehicle of choice and uh, get on with my chores. Happy Sunday, everyone.